Hello artists. Today we're going to be talking about glaze. Glaze is a special kind of paint for your pottery that makes your artwork colorful and it also seals your pots or your cups or your creations so that way you can eat or drink from your work. So when we're talking about glaze, yes, you paint it on. However, it is a um, a special type of mixture that's actually um, bits of glass that are able to be painted on and then they fuse and melt into your pottery piece to give it this shine. So it's not quite paint, but yes, we'll be using paintbrushes to paint your pottery pieces. Okay, so when it comes to glaze, the way that your glaze turns out relies on how you paint it onto your pottery piece. And these are test tiles that tell you, so the name matches the type of glaze that's sitting in front of it. And sometimes what it turns out like when your pottery has been fired is very different than what it looks like in the jar. So it doesn't always match. So for example, this lilac is a lot lighter. It almost looks white, but after you paint it onto your pottery project and once it goes through the kiln firing, then it will turn out this solid purple. So the pottery has to undergo a change with the glaze in order to get this result. So let's talk about getting our glaze onto our pottery piece. When you are glazing your pottery piece, you want to make sure that you are sealing up your pottery piece with the right amount of glaze and also the right amount of layers. What I mean by layers is your glaze should go on with three coats. So I would choose my color and I would paint three times. So I'd paint one time, let it dry, looks like this, paint another time, let it dry, and then paint on my last layer of glaze, and then I'm done. This third coat will ensure that everything's sealed and also it will have full color. Maybe on the outside, if you want to do one or two layers because you like this lighter or more translucent look, you could do that, but I definitely recommend and make sure that you do three full layers on the inside of your pottery piece so that way everything is sealed. There's no openings so that way you can drink water or juice or something that you want to drink or eat from your work. Like on this one, it is all the way, oh there's a little area that's not fully sealed here, but you can see how this only has a couple layers whereas this has a lot more layers. So I should have gone back over this piece on this section. So you wanna get three solid layers, especially on the inside of your work, and then also if you want it to have full bright color. They will all have a shine to them. All of the glazes we're using will um, have that sheen. We don't have to paint anything on for that additional look. Another thing that's quite different with glaze is that you can't really mix colors like the way you would with paints, let's say like acrylic or watercolor. This brand of glaze and this type of glaze is pretty much what you get. And in this bowl, I wanted to show you what it looks like with some more experimental layering. I didn't quite mix, um, but I also recommend that you um, do one color at a time. If you wanted to experiment and layer, you could but it, does not, it will not always mix the way that paints will mix when you layer paints. So it is a very different um, process with the glaze. So if you wanna do that again, I, it's up to you, it's more experimental, but um, the results are not guaranteed. So the color exists by itself, and then that's up to you if you wanted to layer or try and, and um, mix them up on your own, but we will not be mixing them up in the container that we're using. So you'll pick your color, you'll stick with that color, put it on your pottery piece, and then if you wanted to layer, you're doing that on top, or mixing, you're doing that on top. But what color you pick, you are keeping your brush in this color to use only with that color while you're glazing. Looks something like this. I've got my glaze, I've got my brush, and I'm gonna be only working with this one color with this brush and then when I'm done with this color when I've painted my three coats then I can wash my brush and change colors or go on to the next color that I need.
Okay, we're gonna pretend I've painted all the areas blue that I want, and now I'm ready to change my glaze color. So what you're gonna do is you're just simply gonna wash your brush. You're gonna take water to it, and you really wanna make sure that your brush is all the way clean, so I don't want any glaze left in it because I'm changing colors. The most important thing is that once you get it all washed and cleaned, that it's fully dry. So you wanna make sure that it's all the way dry because if your brush is still wet and you were to go and get another color and then paint your glaze on, that water will actually start ripping off your glaze. It is, your glaze is able to come off at this stage with water. So if your brush is wet, you're not gonna be actually painting your glaze on. You are going to be stripping the glaze away. So you wanna make sure your brush is all the way dried fully dried before you return it or before you switch to a different color and then go ahead and start painting your next glaze on. So make sure those brushes are fully dry and there's no water on them. The last thing we need to talk about for glaze is making sure that the bottom of your pottery piece is fully cleaned. So there should not be any glaze on the bottom. You're not glazing this part of your work. And if you do get a little bit of extra glaze on it, we're gonna talk about how you can get that off. The answer is water. You can use a paintbrush or you can use a sponge. You need to check the bottom of your work. You would dip your sponge into the water or use your paintbrush and you can just gently rub the glaze right off. So for example, that might look like, simply wash it away. The reason that we do this is because the glaze is going to melt in the kiln. Remember it's tiny pieces of glass mixture that fuse with the pottery piece and they also will fuse to the kiln shelf. So what happens is this gets stuck to the kiln shelf and I can try my best to rip it off, but I cannot guarantee that you will have a full pottery piece um, to take home. So you're gonna check the bottom of your sculpture, the bottom of your um, creation that you've made and then make sure that there is nothing, no glaze on the bottom. And if there is, make sure you are uh, wiping it fully away. And that is it. All right, so that is it. Those are the rules of glazing. I can't wait to see what colors you pick and your sculptures come to life throughout this process because color really does change your pottery piece. So have fun with it. And remember, three coats for solid color. Make sure no glaze is on the bottom of your work. And remember that the colors can be deceiving. They don't always match what they look like while you're painting, but they will turn out once the pottery has gone inside the kiln. Happy glazing, y'all.